I want to mention so. my my continuing ongoing saga of my microwave, which Joe so conveniently reminded me of. I have I have since since 10 a.m. this morning, I have ditched it in favor of a newer but used microwave that uh, my late father-in-law You left got behind. rid of your micro. Did your microwave finally break so much that you couldn't use it anymore? It still worked. It still microwaved. <laughs> Underneath the turntable where the little uh, uh-huh. ring rolls around, it, there's a giant rust circle where it's just ground into the bottom. <laughs> yeah, It actually all worked. It just stinks in there. So I didn't want to bother cleaning it, and I thought it'd probably be easier just to take this other microwave that's uh, taking up space and putting it in its place and then yeah. taking that one out to where Wait, you had to. another microwave? Yeah, my when my father-in-law passed, he had it. He he just. Bought I forgot a new about microwave. this. So you had a perfectly good microwave that you weren't using, so that you For could about use your broken years. microwave. Yes. Okay. As of ten a.m. this morning, I'm caught up. Yeah, I, feel, I feel like I, <laughs> I appreciate the cliff notes. It's all worked out. That, Weird, uh, Dami. I did not buy a new one. I, that, I need to stress that. No, that's the best it. part. His. I love that Roger insists. Like the old microwave still worked. It just, you know had this other problem that I couldn't deal with. Uh, and also that you didn't buy a new microwave. You yeah. just had another one that you weren't using. And yes, yeah. Rodami, it is rather nice. I was reading this comment thread on threads today, and someone was like talking about like how like billionaires like Elon Musk should you know be in therapy and it would help them deal with their issues a little bit more. And this guy was like, I've never done therapy, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, well, you go to the doctor for your body. It's the same as going to therapy for your brain. He's like, I've never been to the doctor. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I don't yeah. believe in doctors. Also, Diet, it's like, okay, exercise. if you need an MRI and you don't want to go to the doctor, like, how you doing that? yourself my dude uh you just order it on amazon and oh got it got it yeah my first DIY mri DIY mri (laughs) yeah i just looked up a youtube video on how to build an mri oh my god i've irradiated my body but the the scans came out perfect tom has one i don't know tom has one because he always has something in his bookcase dear god all right. Well, if you show me it, maybe that'll help, but I'm not sure. Oh, Amiga. Uh-huh. Is that the Amiga? Nope. No. The Commodore 64. Damn uh, it. Someone I know was like, does Tom really have everything in his bookcase? And I'm like, I think so. I mean, I don't know how he does it. Yeah, it's like freaking Narnia it, Apparently there. all is back <laughs> there behind him. You know what? I, I want to like talk it. about the Nikon Cool Picks 5200 <laughs> because I have it back here. So right. let's work that in. So yeah. much cooler than <laughs> than instant cameras, right? Because those just, they don't oh have... Oh my God. Oh, back in 1913, <laughs> I used to use a Polaroid like a real oh. American. This I mean, like an, that's pretty This too. is like an arms race right now. This is quickly yeah. turning into an arms yeah, race. Like, what well, you got, Tom Merritt? Uh, you got, Tom Merritt? I got, right. you know. <laughs> Sarah's thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it d- does it? I don't. Yeah, I mean, is who it, didn't have one? one of these? What is it? It's a oh, it's Walkman. A yeah. It's the sports. Wow. Wa- it's the first sports Walkman. Yeah, I don't you think open I it up and you put a tape nearby. inside and then you you listen to it. All I have are these cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> well, those cassettes can work in my Walkman. All right. Um, let's get go. to question number I found seven. I a stapler. <laughs> Molly has a stapler. stapler. And like, once again, you trump everybody. 